Morning. Good morning. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Wednesday, middle of the week for the Daily Devo. And we're excited that you are jumping on with us. My symmetrical brain doesn't <laughs> like being so asymmetrical. Yeah. Lisa, how are you, Lisa? Good morning, Leslie. Oh, I need to get my thing right. Oh, you did it already. We got it. We're good to go. Hey, we're excited that you're jumping on. We encourage you uh, to share this with uh, friends on Facebook. Hit the share button to get this out. We would appreciate that. Good to see everybody with their emojis coming on. It's emoji time. Good morning, Luce. We are praying for Matrix. And... Uh, is it Maddox? I'm so sorry if I got the name wrong. But we're praying for your son, and we're just believing for his healing. Yeah, glad to see you all on today. Uh, and we are talking about um, walking with God. That's kind of been our theme for the week, and this is going to go for a couple of days, probably into next week. So we appreciate you uh, joining with us. This is 15 Minutes just to encourage your day, to pray with you. Um, we've been hearing from many of you, which is really so cool for us to hear how this is impacting your life. And um, all we ask, if this is really impacting your life, um, is to share this, to let you know your Facebook friends know so that we can expand our influence um, and expand Jesus' influence, really, for the kingdom of God um, in New York City and around the world. Walking with God. Um, we've been talking about walking with your head held high, that the Lord is the glory and the lifter of your head from Psalm 3. We've been talking about walking in step with the Holy Spirit. Yesterday, we, we talked about the idea of being empowered by God and, and how Jesus um, began his ministry um, with the baptism, and it really formed the, uh, the, the basis of everything he did. Jesus mm -hmm. did nothing except under the influence of the Holy Spirit and at the direction of the Father. Uh, what a model for us today. And so as we talk about walking with God, um, we're gonna talk about um, walking in step with the Spirit and how it, how it um, calls us, the Spirit calls us to be refined in the fire, to be refined. Today we wanna talk about this concept and um, I'm gonna read the scripture here from Matthew chapter three. And um, this is John the Baptist speaking, and he says this, I will baptize you with water for repentance, but after me will come one who is more powerful than I, John, uh, Matthew 3, 11, um, whose sandals I am not fit to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Mm. And really, fire in this text is a reference to the judgment of God uh, that is really coming upon the leaders of Israel and upon the nation of Israel and upon the people that uh, of the world that do not turn and repent. Because really, to walk in step with God, um, there is a refining and a purity that God calls us to observe. Our God is a consuming fire. He is holy. Uh, he is righteous. And those that follow him um, are called to walk yes. in purity, are called to walk in holiness. So today, as we think about walking in step with the Lord, it's not just doing whatever we want to do. It's doing the things that God calls us to do and allowing him and the Holy Spirit to burn away any impurities, to burn away any things that are um, not aligned with the commands and the will of God by the power of the beautiful Holy Spirit. And so here's the devotion. Susan can read it here, just like a, a quick paragraph from Nikki Gumbel. <laughs> Get refined in the fire. John said that whereas he baptized with water, Jesus would baptize with the Holy Spirit in fire. The Holy Spirit will come like a refining fire to bring power and purity in your life. Knowing the, refining, the, knowing the refining fire of the Spirit in this life means that you can be free 
from the fear of the fire of judgment when Jesus returns. Amen. And that is so true. Mm -hmm. That because we've been purified by the Lord, we will not go through the fire of God's judgment. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord yes. for that. But while we are here on the earth as believers, we are called to allow the Spirit of God to refine and purify all the things that need to be purified. It's a very common um, thing, preachers talk about it all the time, that the purifying process is one where a metal would be heated so that all of the impurities rise to the top and are skimmed off, leaving only the precious metal. And, and really, that's what God wants to do in our lives. He wants to, um, and I think the, uh, the pandemic like this kind of turns up the heat to see what we trust in, um, to see where our, our, our faith lies so that God can work out of us the things that need to be worked out of us in this time. So the word for today for me is to walk in step with the Spirit, allow the Spirit to refine those areas that need to be purified in your attitudes, in your moods, uh, in your thought life, and in your, your actions. Yeah, when I think about the refining process, I think about it on the, in, this, in the area that it's not an easy process. It can be actually pretty painful yeah. You know, can you imagine what it must be like for the metal to be melted, to be purified? It has to be under such tremendous heat in order for the impurities to be removed. And sometimes because of the stuff that we've allowed to penetrate our hearts, to infiltrate our minds, to kind of consume us, when God begins to purify us, it can be a pretty painful process because he has to remove these impurities from our lives. He has to, in order to walk in step with him, we have to be willing to go through some things that um, aren't pretty. <laughs> it's true. You know? And yeah. so I know in my own life, um, dealing with my anger or dealing with um, insecurities and, um, and bitterness and jealousy, you know, um, I put my husband through a lot, you know, in the beginning, even dating. And then um, you hear the chuckle of my daughter behind the camera. Um, God had to purify and, and do some pretty um, intense um, healing and deliverance. And, you know, and I'm not finished yet, but what you see, you know, right now is a is a product of someone who said, you know what, God, I'm willing to go through this process. I'm willing for you to, to just take this out. I know uh, June Kittle, you know, she purged me, right? And, um, and that's what he had to do. A purge is painful yeah. because you've held on to some things for so long that um, it, it's like a root that you have to rip out from, from the ground in order to clear and till the soil you have to pull up some roots and some of those weeds or some of those trees or bushes don't want to come out <laughs> you know and even for us right there's so many things that don't want to come out because they become who we are right what we think or who we think we are right i'm not letting go of this because this keeps me safe no it's keeping you angry and it's keeping you you know this oh no no i don't want to let go of this because that's, you know, who I am. No, it's not who you are. You right. know, it's who, it's not who you are. It's not who God wants you to be. That's and right. so when I think about um, this process, I just think about what God has done in my life and how he's, and he's still continuing to do this. You know, even through marriage counseling, there are some hard things I had to hear that my husband had to tell me. And it wasn't easy, but it's what's needed in order for there to be healing and restoration and um, so many things, they're so fresh and new after that. It's like, wow, we can start fresh. And that's how Jesus is when we walk in step with him, we don't have to carry it, you know? And there are times he carries us through this process. And, you know, he doesn't let us walk it by ourselves. And that's the most important thing. You know, when you go to a counselor, right? You go to that counselor and you, pour out your heart and they're like, okay, hours up, see you later, see you next week or see you next month. That's not the same thing with God. God's like, all right, we're gonna go through this together. 
Yeah, you're gonna go through some pretty painful things, but I'm gonna walk with you the whole step of the way. And I'm gonna carry you sometimes. And he's the best counselor. And that's, you know, I still go, we still go to counseling, but at the end of the day, Jesus is the one that walks with us. So that's pretty awesome. Amen. And so this is an important part of walking in step with the Spirit of God is uh, to allow him to refine the areas of, of your life, of my life, that need mm-hmm. to be purified. And there are areas in my life, too, yes. that need to be. And so what we want to pray today as we, um, as we wrap this up is um, I'd like to ask all of us to just take a moment, close our eyes, and really pray that prayer from David in Psalm 139. God, search our hearts and know us. Yes, Jesus. And purge us and see if there be any wicked way yes, within us. So Jesus. let's let's just pray. And Susan, if you can just lead us in a prayer of repentance and just asking the Lord to refine us, and then I'll pray. Lord, we just, Lord God, we just open ourselves up to you. Lord God, open yes. up our hearts to you this morning. Yes, Jesus. Lord God, in a in a in just a way, Lord God, that we know that you are real. Mm-hmm. And Lord, the things that you're doing in our lives, some things we have to let go of. Some Help deep us. roots, Lord God, that you are wanting Purge to pull us. out and prune us from, refine Lord God, us. Yes. and refine us, Lord yes. God. And I just pray that we are open to you with our hands yes. open, Lord God, with our hearts wide open, Lord God, mm-hmm. and our minds ready to receive the healing that you want us to receive, God, in this time. There's so yes. many things you're doing in our lives mm-hmm. through this pandemic, God, some things you're revealing to us, Lord God, some insecurities and fears that we've held on to for too long, Lord God, and some, you know, preconceived notions, God, that you're trying to release us from. And so, Lord, I pray, here I am with with arms wide open, with yes. heart wide open, Lord God, with hands wide open, yes. ready for you to do what you need to do in my life, Lord God. And we thank you, Jesus. Help us, Lord God, to know that, Lord, though the process may be painful, and it will be, Lord God, because some of us have been dealing with the same thing for years and it's going to take time. It's going to take some tears, but Lord, the end product is beautiful. Lord God, the the soil that you're tilling in our lives, Lord God, is going to reap a beautiful harvest, God. And I pray that, Lord, we wouldn't see just the pain that it may bring us through, Lord God, but we'll see the victory that's at the end waiting for us, Lord God. Yes, yes. Come, Holy Spirit. Jesus, thank you. Burn like a fire. Thank you, Jesus. Consume us. Thank you, Jesus. In your presence, take away anything that is leading us away from you. Holy Spirit. That is a distraction from you being glorified in our lives. That Mm -hmm. is an idol that has set itself up above you or beside you to take away praise that belongs only to you. This morning, God, we just pray, purify our hearts. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you to do your work of purging and refining and cleansing. And Lord, help us to be specific with the areas that you're showing us, that as things arise, um, that we would be quick to repent and acknowledge that, Lord, when we're not like you, we want to be like you. So help us today and just thank you for those that are watching. I I pray that you would bless them and fill them with just an awareness of of you today and and just speak to hearts and change lives. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 We love you. And, um, you know, I believe that God is revealing some things to some of us who are watching and those who will watch later on about some things that God has been dealing with us in and what he wants, you know, when God deals with us, he does it in a loving way. And sometimes he's got to be that parent that's like, uh, all right, it, it's time to stop. <laughs> you know, let, let's, you know, get our big boy, big girl pants on and let's, let's deal with this, you know? And sometimes we're like little kids, like, no, 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 no. I don't want to let that go. But he knows best. And sometimes it's not always easy, you know, we, we're pastors and we're still learning, you know, a lot and we're still learning to love each other through the good, and this quarantine, you would have thought, you know, some people are like, I can't stand my husband and, you know, 
I love him and I, I see what God is doing in both of us in our ministry together, how he's grown us, you know, but I thank God for counselors like Jesus who just walks with us and helps us through it and he's so good about it. So we'll see you tonight at seven. Um, look, looking forward to connecting for online prayer. So we'll see you, many of you this evening. We hope to connect in with you and just pray, worship, and uh, speak with the Lord. God bless you. We'll see you tonight. He gets right to the point. I can tell when he's like, Susan, shut up. <laughs> it's time to go, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Bye, guys. We, we love you, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, no, tonight, 7 o'clock.